Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm Jamie B. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you my top favorite palettes that I have in my collection. They are not by any means um, the only ones I use. They're just my favorite. Um, some of them I've had much longer. Some of them I've actually just recently got. But I know you guys did a, I put up a poll for you on my community part, the community tab of my channel. And you kind of said that this is what you wanted to see. So I went through and I picked, I have two that are not eyeshadow palettes, but other than that, they're all eyeshadow palettes. Um, and just ones that I really, really could not get rid of if I were to take and throw away my whole collection these would be the ones that I held on to. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it, so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so these are in no particular order in which I'm gonna do them. And what I will do is while I'm editing this video, somewhere on the screen I will put the prices and the name of the palette that way if you miss it you don't have to rewind and I don't really have the prices offhand so that way you have that information if you do want to go purchase them or whatnot I think some of them may be discontinued though I'm not quite sure I do know one of them absolutely is so we'll get into that but I'm gonna just start picking through and kind of explaining why they're my favorite. I might swatch one or two, but I really don't wanna do a whole swatch of every palette because then we would be here for 60 years. So the first one is going to be my Tartlet in Bloom palette. This is the second Tartlet palette they did. I did have the original, but when we moved here a couple years ago, I had this, a MAC palette, and like a couple other really good palettes in a box. And I think that that box either got thrown away or they were wrapped up in newspaper in a separate box away from my makeup and it was thrown out. So I no longer have that, but I really wasn't the biggest fan of the first Tarte palette. However, the In Bloom one is one of my favorite and has been for a very long time. So I'll go ahead and show you here. She has definitely been loved. I know, I believe this one is still available at Ulta and on the Tarte website. I just absolutely love the warm tones. I'm a big warm tone person. I'm not really the biggest fan of cool tone shadows. Um, I don't think that they look the best on my skin tone, but I just love that you have some shimmers. You have a lot of mattes, which I really, really like to use, and you have like a array of colors. So you have your dark, your medium, your medium light, and then light. So you can make like a bunch of different looks, and this could be a palette that you use every day. So this one right here, Funny Girl, used to be my favorite. And I'm gonna swatch that one for you because that one is the one that I use the most out of this palette. And it's just, look how stunning that is. It's like a champagne -y gold color, very light. You can use on the lid, on the inner corner. You can use it as a highlighter. And it was one of the, I wanna say one of the first really kind of high brand expensive palettes that I've got. So the only thing that I would say I don't like is kind of this doesn't go all the way back. So it's it's a little weird. I don't know why because most palettes I have fold all the way back so I can fold them under. But you can't with this one. So <laughs> when I first got it, I went to do it and I almost snapped it off. So don't do that if you get this. But if you're going to get something from Tarte, um, I don't have a lot of things from them. But this is definitely something that I think is an absolute must have in your collection. If you don't already have like a super neutral palette. If you do then really I don't recommend 80 million neutral palettes. So the next one is one of my super most loved palettes. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And this is the first palette I actually ever bought from them. So I know they did like a Mario one and Amrezi um, one. They did like a bunch of them, but I never actually knew much about them other than their brow stuff. So, this came out and I was like, oh my God, I was really starting to like gather a collection. I was really starting on YouTube or Instagram at the time. And I was like, oh my God, this is such a beautiful palette. And I got it and I loved it. And I used her up because I didn't have very many expensive palettes. I just love, again, the warm tones. I also love these berry colors you get in here. And then this orange one right here. Realgar, Rel Relgar, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is such a beautiful shade to put as your transition or that top color. Like today, I didn't use that, but it's very similar to that. It just gives it that nice, pretty orange color. And then Primavera, 
was so stunning on the lid and again I would pop that on the inner corner sometimes as well. These are very blendable, very pigmented. The only problem I feel like I have with these shadows is that they kind of like fall out a lot. Like I know that's a very common thing for ABH shadows. So I don't think, at the time I thought, oh my gosh, there's so much fallout in this palette, kind of makes a mess. Sometimes those reds can fall out into the other colors and kind of mess them up a little bit. But now that I know that it is a common factor in their palettes, I'm just more careful when I dig into them. So I'm a really big fan of Raw Sienna, and I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is like literally the best absolute transition color ever. Sorry about the middle finger. <laughs> And it's just such a stunning, absolutely gorgeous transition shade. You can use it as an all-around shade. So whenever I do my new makeup makeup looks, I like to just kind of cover my eye with it all the way up, like past my crease, to give it a little bit of color, one shade, because I have some discoloration on my eyes. But I think that is such a beautiful taupey brown, and it has just some caramel to it. So it is just such a stunning color to use on like tan to medium skin tone. I feel like it would be okay with fair, but it's not gonna give you that no makeup makeup look. You're gonna look like you have makeup on at that point. So that is definitely a favorite for me. So if you are not new to makeup, then you are going to be more than well aware of what this palette is. And it is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, the first one they did. Um, not the Volt. I actually am not a big fan of the Volt. I still have it, but I don't really use it at all. Where this one, for the longest time, was my go-to palette because it had such pops of blues and purples and greens, but you also had like your dark tones for like a smokier look and like, like depth. Then you had the light ones. You had shimmers for your brow bone. You had such pretty transition colors. Like that was my favorite part. Um, are these right here. I'm going to show you. So right across here and then these two. So they are like my absolute favorite if I'm in another palette. I will go ahead and dig this out just because I love those transition colors. And Morphe shadows, they're so affordable but also extremely good to work with. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say Morphe shadows are my favorite but um, they are definitely a good brand simply because they kind of market to everybody. It's great quality, but it also is great price or decent price for what you're getting. So for me, that is like why it's a go-to and it also has like just such pretty colors and the purple in here is so pretty. I'll show it right here. It's a deep like raven purple, but honestly, these two colors were my favorite and I don't know what they're called. They're called Pool Party and Jada. So she has them on the back, which makes it harder to read, but she has them broken down in color. So if you're not new to makeup, you probably have that um, palette. Again, big fan of this one. Was not a huge fan of the Vault palette um, palettes. It just kind of, they didn't work out for me. They're very patchy, a lot of fallout. It just wasn't, they just blended together not so well. Um, it was definitely not my favorite Morphe shadows. So, but this one, oh my god, I love it. I really wish that those palette, those shadows would have been from this formula because they definitely were not. Like, I don't care what Morphe or Jacqueline say, they're definitely a different formula, but I love this formula. So let me swatch these two colors for you. Check those colors out. Like, those are stunning. These are why I got this palette. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at this. So this is Pool Party, and this is Jada, which is a matte, and then Pool Party is like a blue but it does have a gold I want to say yeah gold yellow shift to it but they are so beautiful to pop under the eye to pop on the lid with a darker color they're just fun and beautiful to work with and I'm telling you I know it sounds crazy but like if a palette has even one to two colors that really stand out to me I'm getting the palette I don't care if the rest of them are nude I'm getting the palette because those colors they're so different and you know that they're going to be used so differently. They're going to look so different. So that's why that is one of my favorite. This is a face palette. I do not think you can buy this anywhere but like on one of those like special shopping apps. Um, and it is also Jaclyn Hill based. So this is Jaclyn Hill and Becca face palette. It's going to be hard to see just because it's kind of like white and gold. Meh, you can't get it open. So I'm going to go ahead and show it like this. You got 
a blush. I think this was essentially a blush too, but I like to use it as bronzer sometimes. So two matte blushes and then a shimmer blush. And then you got two big, um, dang it, highlighters. And then you got, so this one was, let me make sure I have this right. Okay, so you got Champagne Pop and Persesco Pop. I actually have both of those in individual forms from Becca as well. And they definitely did not perform the way that this palette does. I've had this palette for a very long time. I love it. I think that if you're traveling somewhere or you're on the go, this is going to be one of your best friends because the highlighters are beautiful. The only thing is obviously like powders get everywhere when it comes to face palettes because you're circling in them and when you close it they kind of shift whatever so just make sure you give it a nice blow or you just make sure you wipe off the excess because then you're going to get like that but I think that these were my favorite formula of the Champagne Pop and Prosesco Pop. I don't know what they did in this palette that made it so different than the individual but I really really liked it better than the individual ones. So the next one is actually also a face palette and the last of the face palettes, the rest of them are eyeshadow. But this is Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection and this is just literally my, one of my go-to palettes. The reason it is, is because you have a bronzer, you have a blush, and you have two highlighters. Now this highlighter right here is not um, my go-to color. However, this is the one I have on today. I'm actually wearing the blush, the highlighter, and the bronzer, which is one of my favorite bronzers. So like, even if I'm not using this palette, sometimes I'll reach for it just to use the bronzer. But it's definitely a staple in my makeup. It's definitely a go-to piece. It's easy. I don't have to look for a highlighter, a blush, and all that. I just grab it, put it on, or I grab it and go. Like that is the best part of this. I used to take this to work with me because <laughs> I would get up so early and this was like when I was like I have to wear makeup to work so people can see that I can do my makeup but now I'm just like I don't really care if they believe I can do makeup or not but um and I used to take this with me because it was so easy you know you have everything in one palette and it just was so amazing and sometimes I would use the bronzer for my eyelid and then pop this darker color on the um either the lid or on the inner corner or the lighter one on the inner corner and it was like a no makeup makeup look like <laughs> i love it i think the formula is great however i do not know if you can still buy this on her website i'll have to check for you and i'll leave it down somewhere on the screen but i don't know and i don't want to tell you yes and then it's not and you kill me so but if you guys have this because this is pretty old let me know what you think and like is it the best because <laughs> It is. Sorry. <laughs> when it comes to like my favorites, when people are like, I don't really think that it's that great. I'm just like, hmm. No one asked you, Barbara. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. All right. So let's get back into the eyeshadows. So this next one is actually a newer one. And it is no surprise if you are not new to my channel. This is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette. And oh my God, she. So this one is not as used as. <laughs> my other one because I actually got a new one sent to me but oh my god she's so pretty so I used a little bit of skyline today for my transition and I absolutely love it the reason that I love this palette is because I think that the colors are so freaking stunning they're blendable they're pigmented I don't get any patchy issues with these blues or these pinks which is surprising because they are so pigmented I love the smell of the palette I love the color choices in it if you want to go super bold you can do that if you want to go kind of natural not so bold but have just that little touch of color you can do that as well I think that a lot of people appreciate this palette so much because some people don't like super bold looks but they do like to have a little color so I think that you can achieve that with these pinks and these maroons without going over the top and uncomfortable so I'm a big fan and this gold oh, let me swatch this gold it's called horizon you ready like this is like gold gold straight up gold it is so stunning and on the lid oh, with like pink or even like those like darker uh, maroon colors oh, y'all don't even know y'all don't even know it's so beautiful all right so the next one is going to be the Laura Lee Los Angeles Hanuni Patootie palette. I am a big fan of this palette. 
The reason that I had such issues with it is I do not like um, the bigger chunky ones. So the all natural, which I mean, it fell out. Obviously you can see that. So whatever, I don't have to deal with that. But Jaybird, it, it's messy. It has a lot of fallout. It's hard to work with. Not a fan, but exposed strip bear is one of my favorite buff and nakey nakey are like some of my go to colors. I'll pull this palette out just for those. So like this one, this one, this one for sure. Absolutely love this color. And then this shimmery one over here. So I really, really, really do love this. I think that when she did this, it's such a beautiful natural palette, but it also just give, it just gave me like something different. I don't really know how to, I guess, explain it, but it just gave me something different and I loved it. And it was like cool tone meets warm tone, if that makes any sense. Like they weren't cool tone completely, but they weren't warm tone either. So I kind of was able to mix up my look with it. And I just, I love the packaging of this. I like, and it goes from like dark to light. It's so sleek and I think it's so pretty. The only thing is, again, that one came broken and then it's really long. So it's kind of hard to travel with if that's what you are planning on doing. So I got two more left. Um, the next one is gonna be the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. I believe this is what it's called. I'll go ahead and put it somewhere on here. And I will also tell you whether or not it's still available. I am not sure this one's pretty old, I believe. This was her first ever eyeshadow palette. Hmm, I don't remember and I kind of feel like crap because I don't remember, but leave me a comment below if you know, but I'm almost certain this was her first ever eyeshadow palette. And I think that this is stunning. One of the reasons I got it, obviously this beautiful blue, I do love using it for pops of blues, but I also love this green and then this peachy color, this one, and then this one and I use this for like setting my eye and all that good stuff but I just something about this palette when it first came out obviously I got it mainly to review it on my Instagram because that's what I was doing at the time um but I really really loved it I even did a comparison between this blue and the KKW blue because everyone's like oh they're the same they're not the same this is such a beautiful stunning like cobalt blue and I love how she kind of incorporated it. A lot of people didn't really um, kind of understand, I guess, why she did the blue, considering it was a peach palette, because I think they went from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and based their opinion off of that. But just because it's peach doesn't mean it can't have pops of other color. I really like that she put the purple in here. I like that she put the blue, obviously the green, the bronze. So it isn't just peach, but honestly, if anything, this had more peach in it then the peach, Sweet Peach palette, I actually gave the Sweet Peach palette away. I gave all of my Too Faced eyeshadows away. I had, I think I might, might have one of the chocolate palettes, the, um, the newer one with the gold on it. I don't remember. But other than that, I gave them away. I'm just not a big fan of them. I'm sorry if you are. They're just not my favorite shadows and I don't use them enough to keep them in my collection. So last but not least, remember no particular order, is this baby. So this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So to start this purple one, Amne Amnethest? Amethyst? Amethyst is really, really stunning. Twilight Eden is one of the, my favorite to put like up here in my crease and transition. Angelic is such a pretty color. I am not a fan of Cosmosis because it's just basically thick, chunky glitter. So I don't really go for that. But then you have, sorry, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. Retrograde, which is a duo chrome shift color. You actually have a lot of those. Twilight is like that. Angelic is like that. Celestial is like that. They are just stunning. Like this palette is expensive, but ugh, if you can save up the money and you like it, because I'm obviously not going to tell you to buy something you don't like. If you can save up the money, this palette is stunning. I love the way it works. I love the formula. I love the colors. I love all of it. And it also has sentimental meaning to me. So that is why this is also one of my favorites. All right, guys. So that is it for my top favorite palettes of my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if there's other videos that you want to see when it like top favorite or whatever, 
go ahead and leave me a comment below. Also, let me know which one was your favorite palette. Do you have any of these palettes? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. I love to hear your guys' opinion. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!